We've got the shocks on the 944 here with Genius Garage. So that's what I was talking about in terms of what this little tool is you get here to adjust it. My eyeball says that's good. Yeah, well, let's see if the numbers say it's you good. You don't trust my eyeballs? I'm just like the really annoying dad. It's not bad. What's up, people? We're back for Casey's 80s Garage. Not really, mostly in spirit. Actually, we're here with the guys uh, at Genius Garage, and we are going over the 944 that was donated. It's a 1988 or 1989. Is it 89? It's an 88 <laughs> Porsche 944S, so it's got the cool 16 valve head. But today we're doing coilover shocks from KW, uh, which is exciting because KW is effectively the best shocks you can get, which are awesome. And right now you guys are grabbing the new tires and wheels, right? Yeah. Okay, grab those. So come on over here. I want to show you where we're at in the process. So. I saved you guys having to watch all the grunting and cursing over multiple days with the ridiculousness of the Porsche 944 and currently the shocks are actually physically on the car and we're getting an idea for ride height. Now what makes this a little trickier with the installation on 944 is that on the front it's got typical Porsche McPherson struts with coil springs which you totally can't see at all right now but I admire the camera guy's tenacity. But over here in the back if you guys come on back and take a look Porsche has some funky suspension engineering that I really like and I'm just going to take the camera right here if you guys want to take a peek this is the pivot point right here for the trailing arm suspension and if you look back here this right here is part of the trailing arm this is a aluminum fair that pivots way down to a point at this transverse line and then you have the other part of it coil the uh, the trailing arm going back to here now you can see the KW coilover shock is right here where it's easy to get to to adjust dampening in two different places and the threaded aspect of the shock you can see right here is now in the middle of its threading adjustment range now the trick of a 944 is this Porsche 944s don't have coil springs in the rear they have a torsion spring here and as per the instructions from KW, you actually retain the torsion bar springs of the stock 944, which is really, really nice because it's a, a crap ton of work to take it out. And I don't like doing work we don't need to do. Also, technically speaking, the 944 strut, and I'll take this back, the mounting spot was not actually intended to support all the weight of the car. So based upon what we're getting from KW, this spring is not as super stiff as you would think because it doesn't support the entirety of the weight of the car, but it actually works in uh, unison with the torsion spring. Now what we had to do to adjust the torsion spring to be weaker than it was stock is you actually adjust right here. This is an eccentric bolt. And if you see this piece of metal here is small, that's attached directly to the torsion spring and is putting all the force pushing downward into the trailing arm to push the wheel down and hold the car up. So you adjust this eccentric here down so this can be down all the way and it'll be in its weakest position. And then the spring will take care of the rest and you can adjust your ride height and corner shot mount balance right there. So go ahead and take this camera guy back on up. So Aaron right here has got one of our tires. Are they the same tires all four corners? Yep. They're not? No, I got 225s in the rear, 205s in the front. Is this a 225 then? This is a 225. The okay, nice. Are they the same kind of tires? Yep. All okay, cool. So we got these uh, wheels that were donated with it, along with the old phone dialers here. Or did the phone dialers come off of one of my cars? No, no the phone dialers came with it. Oh, they came with it? Okay, that's cool. Which is good because these were the cup wheels that are really nice, and we sent them off to have them powder coated. So we're going to go ahead and just start using these now. Um, so Aaron, you're going to throw this on. You guys are throwing on. We're going to drop the rear of the car and kind of see how we're doing. Yep. Blaine, what do you think? Are, are we in the ballpark now? Do you think this is going to work? Probably not. Why do you think this is not going to work, even though we adjusted the torsion spring eccentric to full We need to drop week. 20 mil, and I do not believe we're anywhere near dropping 20 mil. We still have a load of adjustment on that, and I understand that it's in the middle of the adjustment range for the directions. Correct. So right here is an example. They do a really great job of uh, showing you the adjustment range of the threaded part of the shock and how to adjust that. So currently the guys have adjusted all the shocks in the middle. And I guess it's not fair for me to say that the instructions aren't that good. They're actually great. But we're sort of in disbelief that this will actually end up being at the correct ride height the way it is. And Blaine, did it actually say specifically if you retain the torsion bar or not? The first person from KW I talked to said you had to remove the torsion bar. The second person I talked to KW said you keep the torsion bar. The person it never also said... says to remove it in the instructions, so we retain it. 
So the person that said to retain it, did he give you any other instructions? No, he just said retain it and uh, turn the bolt, which I'm assuming means turn the eccentric. So we're following the instructions that were given and we're gonna see if it's correct. Okay, well either way, there's still awesome shocks. Oh, which, absolutely. And the problem here is that the Porsche 944 is a weird, weird, silly car with German design that originated from the 1930s. Yes, that's 100% the issue. I don't have to tell you, I'm gonna be dead honest with how this goes because if it's difficult, I want you guys to know how to make it work for you. Uh, and if it goes awesome, I'll know that. And then we're out in the field figuring it out. So if KW needs to alter their directions to be more clear, then we'll get to do that. That'll be good enough. Just set it on the ground. And we're going to have hysteresis, so I'll probably have to bounce on a little bit. So right now the front is super low, right, Blaine? Yeah, it's really low, but that's where it needs to be. Okay. Hey, go on over there and take a peek at that wheel. That gold really looks awesome with the black car. What do you think? Is that sweet? Oh, I love it. You got gold wheels on your BRZ? Yeah, I got gold wheels That's on my BRZ. That's because it's a Subu. Subaru boo boo boo. Of course I do. Uh -huh. So I'm not. You don't vape. Yeah. I do not. Yeah, I'll see you're, you're failing at the stereotypes, Aaron. Yep. My oil pressure's not even low. Your oil pressure's not even low? <laughs> of course not. Is that a thing with Subarus? Of course. I didn't know that. Why? Mm. Okay, well, moving on. Are we gonna? Are we ready to drop this thing? Yep. All right. Up we go. Did you just tighten? Yep. Okay, you guys all safe? I'm just like the really annoying dad today. That's that's my role. Oh yeah. I'm feeling that. So, uh, where's the measuring device? My eyeball says that's good. Yeah, well, let's see if the numbers say it's you good. You don't trust my eyeballs? We have the standardized measuring apparatus. That's not even a proper ruler. That's for architectural drawing well, and paper. In, uh, Look how floppy it is, Blaine. Wow, it's in millimeters. Oh, you're measuring from the center to the wheel well? That's what KW says, yep. Oh, it is? Yep. What's it supposed to be at? I do not remember. <laughs> Blaine's in the middle. The on my side by, uh, like, three mil. It's not bad. Okay, time lapse. Yes, dead puns are over. Just for a minute, but you get music. you guys wheels are on it is on the ground come on over and take a peek uh, maybe over here at the side a little bit but um, actually this did answer the question succinctly at least for this moment uh, if you do the basic push the basic squish test and look at the effect of the spring rates and just feeling it flying by the seat of the pants um, it does seem appropriate to leave the torsion bars in it's just with the eccentric on the trailing arm you put it at the softest setting and then the spring of the kw coilovers does the rest so another neat thing so if you come here and look at this this is the toolkit that comes with the kw coilovers i really like this because uh, they actually give you a nice little box so and we're going to come back to this in a future episode but of course you've got your wrench here which allows you to adjust the spring perch and that allows you to raise and lower the car create rake so maybe it slightly nose down for an arrow effect depending on your car as well as corner weight it so of course to corner weight it you need scales so if you don't have scales you just have to make all the shocks as equal as possible in their relation from left to right and hope your car isn't tweaked or you have to do something funky with the weight distribution so there's there's this tool so that's a very important tool it's nice that it comes with it also you have here this nice anodized aluminum little knob with directions on it and it has a little built-in allen wrench right there really nifty and that's what you use up here for rebound dampening to changes so you can just simply click away right here at the top and that's your little tool for that now for compression dampening or the other adjustments you have this little uh it's not really a needle it's just i'll call it a pokey stick this here is an adjusting pokey stick 
Yes, so anyway, it also looks like a tiny little stick that's in a Sopwith Camel, but I digress. This you use to put in something like this and turn it over clicks on the body where the, the, um, the adjustment is in line uh, with the shock and you have to come in transversely to adjust it. So that's a really nice piece right there. Also, you have another Allen wrench here, which I believe is the same exact size as the Allen wrench that's built into the rebound knob. So if you're not using this knob or you can just get in there with the Allen wrench, you also have that. So it's a really nice kit. Now I wanna show you guys here. So in another video, we're going to drive this thing. We're gonna see how it settles and we'll even corner weight it in the future before we go to a track. But just wanted to show you that going on. And right now the guys are in the middle of, and this is a genius garage car. Uh, they're in the middle of doing a water pump full belt service change as well as doing the cam um, the cam chain here and we're even doing new lifters because a little higher mileage So what we've done is we've taken the valve cover here. The guys have refinished it and we've just set it on the engine it Looks like there we go. yeah, it just sits in place real easy like that So we set it on the engine so stuff doesn't fall in there. We hope so come on over here I'm gonna show you the shocks that I have coming right up to actually do my Dodge Viper GTS here. Also KW is really awesome. Now KW has off the shelf shocks for this Viper as well as the later 944s, which that one is. The early 944s had a little bit different of uprights as well as the rear uh, torsion beam. So those shocks don't work on it perfectly with, but with some modification to do it. Obviously for my Viper kit, I've got the little box here for the tools coming up, but this is as you see it when your KW shocks just come. So. You can see here, I'm gonna show you guys going back to the toolbox. If you remember the pokey stick, yes. It looks like a sop with camel stick. This guy right here, the way you adjust the shock is, if your adjustment is here, you have to put this, this guy in here like this and you can turn it like this. So that's what I was talking about in terms of what this little tool is you get here to adjust it, just like this. Now this particular shock for the, just, the Viper is actually not as sophisticated as what's on the 944. What's on the 944 actually is two-way adjustable. You're able to adjust the rebound as well as the compression dampening. Compression being how much resistance you get via the dampening when you're squishing, and then rebound is how much resistance you get when it's coming back out. So this is um, more of their entry-level awesome shot, which is still incredible and a million times better than the coilovers I already have on my Viper. So I was really excited about that. Something else I wanna point out is the quality of the bushings here. Obviously, it's still very, very hard rubber. Um, but this shock is frankly something that's gonna last a long time. The coilovers that I put on this Viper shall remain nameless were less expensive um, and they did okay, but they really didn't. And I don't think they're gonna stand the test of time remotely as well as these. Like these are shocks that I feel confident are gonna last tens of thousands or a hundred thousand miles, whereas this, not so much. Now, the other thing I really like about what KW did here for the Dodge Viper is you see this fork part here. That's a necessary part for the rear because on the, on the back of the car, I believe the drive shaft goes through here like this, okay? But on the coilover shocks that I put on it, which are not KW's, I had to take the old fork painstakingly off the original, I believe they were Bilstein's on the car, which were and they were like, I guess, okay for a stock car. But I had to take them apart and then combine it. So the thing that's really great about getting a set of KWs for your Viper is this is a beautifully machined piece that's, that's obviously already on there and already set up to go right on. So this is gonna be just an exceptional kit that I'm excited about. So come back for the Viper, gonna do that on there as well, but just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you get a kit. So we've got the shocks on the 944 here with Genius Garage. Still gotta do the tune up, hopefully everything goes well and we don't accidentally drop a nut down the engine and blow it up. But that's it for today, guys. Um, biggest improvements you can make to your car, believe it or not, be, besides just a driver mod, come down to suspension tuning like that. Obviously you gotta have good tires and good brakes, but don't overlook shocks and also, don't just get thinking that stiffer is better and lower is better. It's not. You can quickly go way too far. And the reason you actually want to spend the money and have a company uh, such as KW to work with is they've done the millions upon millions upon millions dollars of research and development to make your car be as best as it can be. Let's be honest, we have not. <laughs> so that's why we chose KW and really excited about the 944. Going to test drive that and of course my Dodge Viper GTS. I hope you guys subscribe and I will see you next time. Car racing is the most affordable form of motorsports there is, and it's also the most competitive. So for that reason, you've got to have an amazing chassis. And for me, it's Top Cart. When I'm at a race, I simply go to topcartusa.com, check out their chassis setup and tuning guide, and that's the secret that gets me on the podium. 
So when it's time for you to go racing, call up Top Cart USA. Shout out to KW Suspension. Guys, this year you're gonna see beautiful coilovers such as this going on many of my cars, including my Porsche 944, my Dodge Viper, and even some of these crazy race cars. And the reason is simple. This is one of the best shock companies in the world. It was founded in Germany in 1992 by Klaus Wolfarth, and recently they just launched a new 1.2 million square foot robotic warehouse where they're creating unbelievably nice suspension components such as this for 15 different original equipment manufacturers. So whether you're a street enthusiast, a weekend track warrior, or you are building the Le Mans car your dreams, guys, check out KW Suspension. Unbelievably nice shock. So go down in the description below, patronize them. You're gonna be glad you did.